Apple doesn't want the iPad to do anything the Mac does the same way. Now this video is all about the issue with Stage Manager and we're going to dive into it and we're going to talk about it, the issues, how Apple can resolve it, and if the Stage Manager is really necessary to only have on the M1 iPads and not on any other iPad. And so that is what this video is going to be all about. And so let's get into it. All right. Sup. Noah Bess here. And Apple doesn't ever want the iPads multitasking to look or feel or work like it does on a Mac. And they always have to have an iPad way of doing things. Now, Stage Manager isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad feature. It's just an odd way of doing things. They do this in order for it to not be like the Mac. And that comes with many issues. The biggest complaint by far is that Stage Manager doesn't work with other iPads besides M1. Now, when it comes to my thoughts on this, I think that it can work on the other iPads, but the whole thing, in my opinion, is RAM management. Now, if we look at the iPad Pro, they have either 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is a lot more than the other iPads. So unless they add more RAM or find a way in software to make it work, it's going to be much harder to make it the exact way it's going to be on the M1 iPads. But another thing they can do is scale stage manager down meaning that instead of having a bunch of apps open maybe you can only have two or three apps open at a time but at least that way you still have the stage manager feature available on the other ipads because as we know right now apple has actually delayed the launch of ipad os until october in order to iron out details with stage manager and to make sure that people are happy with it because Apple obviously doesn't want unhappy customers. And so when it comes to Stage Manager, compatibility with other iPads besides M1 is very important. Apple will bring the M1 chip down to the other iPads considering the M2 chip is going into the higher end iPads. So that is always an option um, and that will also bring out stage manager to its full capacity in all iPads. And so I think that is a great solution, but again, who knows, Apple probably wants to preserve those chips for their higher end machines. And so next, when it comes to stage manager and the whole issue right now surrounding it, I wanna talk about its features and functionality. Now, without a doubt, stage manager is a great feature coming to iPad, which makes it more Mac OS-like. But the thing with iPad is that, again, Apple doesn't want the iPad to do anything the same way the Mac does. And take example for the cursor. When the Magic Keyboard first came out with the cursor on the iPad, it's a dot, a circular dot, instead of an actual mouse cursor. So that is just an example about how Apple always wants to make it the iPad way instead of having both the Mac and the iPad the same way. Apple even says on their website, as you can see here, iPad OS 16, incredibly capable, just like the Mac, but unmistakably iPad. Meaning that Apple, again, doesn't want the iPad to do anything the Mac does the same way. And that is why they always call it the computer. It can be your all-in-one computer. But in fact, until it does things the way the Mac can, it will never be an all-in-one computer. For example, people really thought Final Cut Pro and Motion and Logic and all those pro apps that you can use on Mac, everyone thought those were going to be coming in iPad OS 16 because, again, M1 chip is in it, all this stuff, and it didn't. And so that is what makes it even less like the Mac and even more likely for people to buy a Mac. And so iPad is really in this weird place right now that unless you are really using it for design or animation or anything like that where you can actually draw with the pencil and such it's better just to go with the mac because right now the ipad's in such a weird place because it is so similar to the iphone but not similar enough to the mac now when it comes to the rest of ipad os ipad os 16 looks pretty good now again it's not a substantial update but it adds some nice new features and some nice touch-ups on already existing features but again, by far the biggest one is probably Stage Manager when it comes to iPad OS. And so that is why Stage Manager is such a controversial issue is because people use the iPad for their daily computer or their all-in-one device. And because now the iPads without M1 do not get Stage Manager, evidently people are going to complain. And I would say for the most part, rightfully so. 
And that is why Apple is taking the time to look back, look at Stage Manager, and see if there are ways they can refresh it or refine it in order for it to work on older iPads and in order for it to be an amazing feature that allows people to do more with the iPad to make it more like the Mac, even though they don't want it to do anything like the Mac does. And so guys, this video has been all about iPad OS 16 and the issue with Stage Manager. But guys, that's been it. Thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the whole Stage Manager issues and if you guys have an iPad or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And so guys, thank you for watching. Please do go out and have a great day, and we shall see you in the next one.